Hello, ponios. Oh dear. Somebody wants his tea, don't you? <laughs> oh, he's still going. <laughs> But that can be comfortable for him. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to Raver's Mead. Um, it's uh, it's Sunday today. Uh, you guys won't be seeing this video until Wednesday though. Um, it's actually Sunday evening. Um, I usually sort of do my vlogging in the mornings, you know, when I'm kind of a bit more fresh faced and perky and, you know, but today has just been an absolute flop of a day, to be honest. I haven't done anything um yeah, it's it's currently about it's currently about quarter to six it's their bedtime as you can tell the children are lining up ready to come in oh you're having a wee wee good boy woody good boy i love it when they have a wee before they go to bed it just means less mess in their bedrooms <laughs> uh, we don't love it when we pee in front of judges though blue just an fyi you could have, could have done it any time, but he saved it right for when he was in front of the judge. Bless him. Um, but yeah, it's tea time. Um, I All I can say about today is I just, I hit a wall and I burnt out. So I came down here like normal this morning and, oh, I hit about half past 10. Like I did all my mucking out and everything, hit about half past 10 and I just crashed. Like I was hungry. I was tired. I had brain fog. I just was not functional at all. So I went home to get an early dinner and um, next thing I know, it's about five o'clock. I slept, I fell asleep. Um, I've slept about five hours today, which is not great. Um, right, okay, let's, let's get their dinner sorted, get them in and then I'll carry on chatting to you guys. <laughs> Ooh. Well, they're all happy now. Uh, no more Jabba the Hut impressions or banging on doors going on. Oh, stumpers. Bless her, she's cleaning up buckets for me. Oh, nice. uh, yeah, so in case you haven't gathered, I'm having one of those days today. Really low on energy, really just not feeling it. Hence, I slept five hours this afternoon. I was kind of, I got down here early this morning and I was racking my brain just trying to figure out what I was going to do. Um, <laughs> And to be fair, I actually had a lot of plans for today. I was going to, I had, um, I had a lot of jobs I wanted to get done in the garden. I wanted to get some more of my trees planted. I was going to take Nelly at the woods. I was going to take Woody and Blue out for a ride. I really wanted to just try some ride and lead with those two. Um, Woody seems a lot happier going out with a buddy. And I just thought it'd be good if I could get Blue leading from Woody, just because he's not going to have the weight of me on his, you know, easily explodable feet. So. I figured that could work quite well, but none of that happened today, basically. You okay, Stumper? Look at your muddy little feet. I think you need your feet picking out, don't you? Oh, she spotted an open gate. <laughs> Soon as there's an open gate around that pony, she is gone, bless her. Oh, oh yeah. So today's kind of got me thinking, um, and I'm sure all equestrians are guilty of this. Like no limits on the amount of time we spend on our horse's health and their nutrition and their fitness and their general well-being. Like we're, we're pretty obsessed about that as a, as a group of people, let's face it. But when it comes to our own bodies and our own health, we are pretty neglectful. Um, and you know, I've been making a few efforts recently to kind of look after my body a bit better. I've been trying to do some like yoga and you know, making some kind of efforts to eat better. But when I stop and think about it, I mean, actually eating like crap lately. Hello, darling. Hello. Um, yeah, and I'm just, yeah, today was basically just a really rude awakening for me that I need to sort myself out and I need to feed myself properly. I, I'm burning out so often. Um, oh. And I'm just, I'm wasting my weekends because I'm go, go, go all week and I'm not taking care of myself properly. And then I'm getting to the weekend and I'm just, I'm just done. I'm just, I die basically when I get to the weekend, I might make it through Saturday and then Sunday hits and my body just goes, nope, we're out. We need to sleep this off. You haven't fueled me properly. Um, oh dear, I left one of my compass bags out. 
get it all over the place. Yeah, this uh, this happened. I've been planting a lot of stuff this week. So I've got loads of carrots and parsnips planted down here. I've got a row of potatoes in the middle as well. Garlic and onions all around the outside. Oh, do you know what? I think I'm just going to sit on this bag. I can sit on the bag. That's a good plan. So this is this is kind of where I was at this morning. And yeah. I don't know if anybody else feels like this, but I feel like it's just a constant battle where I'm go, 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 go. And then one day I wake up and I just, I burn out hardcore. So I, I feel like I need to, I need to change that. I'm actually going to go home tonight and do some kind of meal prep for the week. Um, Cause I've been eating like recently, I've really been into like pastries, like almond croissants and maple and pecan croissants and stuff like all the pastry sweet stuff basically. And I've been eating those for breakfast and I don't think that's been helping. Like normally I'm a scrambled eggs kind of girl for breakfast, but eggs are oddly difficult to get hold of at the moment. I don't know if it's something to do with like the bird flu thing that's going on or maybe there's some other issue going on that I'm not aware of, but nine times out of 10, you go into the supermarkets and there aren't eggs at the moment. Um, and I'm a big eater. So if I have eggs for breakfast, we're talking like three or four eggs. So I get through a lot of eggs in a week if I'm having eggs for breakfast. And it's just not been feasible really. And yeah, so I kind of turned to pastries, you know, sugary, fatty, sweet, not the best thing for breakfast really. And I'm starting to feel it now. So I need to, uh, I need to rethink. I need to change my game plan. Really need to get some chickens, to be honest. Like I just, I want chickens so bad. We did originally think that we were going to keep chickens in here somewhere. Like there's, there was a space over there by the old tent frame that we were thinking we could put chickens, but yeah, I've kind of filled it with rhubarb and other things are going over there now. So I don't think that's going to happen. Check out the flowers we've got down here. They look a bit sorry for themselves, but I'm hoping when they, uh, there's, there's loads of buds on there. So I'm hoping they'll look a bit nicer soon. But yeah, I find all these guys in Tesco's. I think they're primroses, like all different colours of primroses. Yeah, looking kind of nice. Yeah, see this one's got loads of fresh buds coming up on it. I suppose I ought to deadhead them really, so it'll encourage them to flower more. I'm really bad for stuff like that. I just tend to leave stuff and hope for the best. <laughs> I'm quite a lazy gardener. Oh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of where I'm at today. Didn't do any riding, didn't really do much of anything noteworthy um yeah epic fail of a day but i guess the message of today is don't neglect yourself and i feel like i need to listen to that message and act on it